Dear white people, question for you. What are you doing with your white privilege? Huh? I know what I'm doing with mine. How about you? Because what's happening is you're acting like fools and you're embarrassing me. And the fact that you even deny white privilege is white privilege in itself. So I hope that you can find a way to get out of your small, tiny, little bitty mind and see the world and what's happening and see what's going on and do something about it. So I can walk around America feeling proud again instead of walking around feeling like I have to apologize to everybody for being a white man. Now remember this, race is a social construct, okay? Because there are no racial differences in intellectual ability or emotional maturity. None of that exists because again, we're just people. And for better or worse, we're all the same, all right? And also, can, can you quit trying to ban the teaching of critical race theory when not one of you shitheads can define it? Because we all know what you really want to ban is criticism of white people theory. And that isn't a thing that exists. So don't tell me to calm the down. There are white people who are not as powerful as the system of white people, the caste system that's been put in place. But they still, no matter where they are on the rung or the ladder of success, they still have their whiteness. You still have your whiteness. That's what the, that's what the term white privilege is. It means that whiteness still gives you an advantage no matter what. If you are not careful, your children will live their whole life white. And at 26, 27, they'll end up being a part of the problem because you just let them and allowed them to live a completely white, sheltered and cultureless life. Most of us in doing this work have experienced this where there's a period of deep shame for being white and for acknowledging the harm that our ancestors have caused. White people don't really understand racism. <laughs> I don't have the ability to like inherently name things as upholding white supremacy or as being racist. My whiteness is going to show up at different points in my life and at different points in different relationships. Everything I thought about how I existed in my white body in the world was very wrong. <laughs> white people are racist. So <laughs> I put this up because I really want any white person in the room to know up front that this is what we're dealing with, that it's not gonna be this coddling of white tears and what that looks like. We're not gonna discuss, oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always gonna be racist, actually. So even when you're on your path to trying to figure out how to be a better human being, um, because I believe that white people are born into not being human, like that actually instead of people of color and black folks being dehumanized that actually everyone is dehumanized off rip within white supremacy that y'all are born into a life to not be human and that's what y'all are taught to do to be demons so in this particular way white people are all racist